Hey everybody, Mr. Berg here, and this is a tutorial of how to create a digital grid to be used for a grid enlargement. Here we go. We're in Google Drawings here, and the first thing we're going to do is get our canvas to the correct size. Um, the paper I'm going to be using is 8x10, and I'm going to make 2-inch uh, grid lines or grid boxes, so I want to make my canvas here in Google Drawings same size. Right now it's 10 by 7 and a half, and I want it 10 by 8. So I'm going to go up to File and down to Page Setup and click on the pull down menu and go to custom and here you can change the size of your canvas i'm just going to change mine to eight and hit apply so that now my canvas i'll be working on is 10 inches wide eight inches high you could make it the other way as well i'm now going to create my grid lines using the line tool uh, notice that i have my ruler set up on the top uh, edge and the left edge if you do not see your rulers you can go to view and show ruler and that will give you your rulers all right, now let's use the lines tool to create our grid lines. Select line, I'm just gonna use the base code line and come up here and hover right under my two. And you can see the blue sliders there around the number two. Uh, those are really nice to indicate whether or not your line is plumb or straight up and down. As I pull my line down, I'm just gonna make sure it's pretty close. And uh, the nice thing about the grid drawing is uh, it doesn't have to be exact. I mean, you could spend as much time as you wanted making it exact, but this is good enough. So I'm putting marks at two, four, six, making sure that line is plumb and vertical, and eight. Okay, you could also copy and paste your lines if you wanted to. I don't want to mess around with that right yet. All right, so there I've got five sections that are each 10 inches wide. I'm now going to do my uh, horizontal lines at two, four, six inches to make four sections that are two inches wide. Here I've got my two inch line. Once again, trying to make it as uh, horizontal as possible and put a mark at four, which is right around here. Click and drag your line over. Four and now six. I think it's right about here. Click and drag it over. now. If you want to be able to see these lines a little bit better, you can always hold down the shift key. Actually, sorry, go to your select arrow and hold down the shift key and you can select multiple lines. And then, I mean, you could, I'm selecting all of them. And then you can change the line color up here and the line weight, which I like to keep around two or three pixels just to make it uh, easily visible. Now let's go grab an image. I'm gonna to go to insert image. And you could upload from your computer or you can search the web, which is really nice because it pulls up just to the right here. I'm going to look up colorful cookies. Mmm, macaroons, macarons, macaroons, whatever you want to call them. Delicious. Okay, so you choose an image that you like. I certainly think I like this one where they're oozing. Uh, you can click and drag it or just click on it once and press insert. Now, I am going to drag my image up to the corner and resize it to fit my entire canvas. If, it, if the dimensions don't line up too much, you can choose to crop the image. Or since these are just macaroons, I'm going to just stretch my picture a little bit. Now, I've covered up my grid line, so I need to do something about that. You can either right click and go to arrange or go up top to arrange order and send to back and that's going to send it behind all of our grid lines there you go you've now got a two inch by two inch grid on top of this delicious cookie photograph you can now start working on your grid drawing one thing i'd like to mention before we go here is that you can zoom in on certain parts once you want to start your drawing if you need to zoom in on a certain part of your picture uh, you can hold down control and hold down Alt on your keyboard and then press the plus sign, which is up at the backspace key, to zoom in. Then hold down Control, Alt, and minus, next to plus, to zoom back out. Okay, this is a great way to create a digital grid that you can then transfer onto a drawing paper and um, make a really nice, accurate drawing. Hope it works for you. Thanks. See ya. All right, everybody. We're now going to make a two inch by two inch grid on the sheet of paper here to match our digital grid that we created. 
So we're just going to use a ruler. I'm going to put a mark at 2 inches, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And this is just going to be extra over here. Now, before I just draw lines down, I'm actually going to go down to the bottom and do the exact same thing. Put a mark at 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. I then use my ruler or any sort of a straight edge to draw those lines. Now, keep in mind that on a grid drawing, you are going to erase the grid lines once you're done. So you want to draw these fairly lightly. If possible, a good trick for that is to move your pencil or move your hand back on the pencil a little bit towards the eraser so you're not pressing down too hard. And I'm drawing these in fairly accurately in two inch sections. So just like my digital grid I created on that colorful cookies picture, I've got one, two, three, four, five sections. This is just extra space. You can trim it off or uh, cut it if you don't need it. Now we might as well just use these grid drawings to make our vertical lines. So here, I'm sorry, horizontal lines. So now I'm going to put a mark at two, four, six, and eight. Then we'll have a little extra space down here at the bottom. Scoot on down here and do the same. Put a mark at two, four, six, and eight. Now just use my ruler to connect those marks. There's our two inch by two inch top row, second row, two inch by two inch, third row, and our last row. And we have, you'll notice once again, this paper was eight and a half by 11. So this extra half inch down here at the bottom, we don't need. And this inch on the right side, we don't need as well. So now it's a matter of um, looking at our digital drawing, copying what's in the top box into the top box on our paper. There you go. Good luck. Have fun. See ya.